How's everybody doing? Yeah. My name's Dino Gasperi. I'm with ShipMyPinball.com. We founded that uh, company, oh, quite some time ago. We've been shipping about 30 years. For those who don't already know who we are, we offer an online real-time quoting. Um, we've uh, been asked by the team here at Pinball Expo to ship anybody's pinball uh, from the show to their home. So it gives you an opportunity when you're not expecting to buy a game at the show to uh, to have a tool in which you can use to get the game that you want home. Um, just before I begin, I always forget, but I, I want to thank Rob, uh, Bridget, and the whole Burke family and hundreds of volunteers that make this possible, this event possible, the 39th year. It's quite remarkable, and I think it's important that we take a minute to recognize what they've done, what they continue to do, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's remarkable. Thank you guys for all the work. Yeah, let's have a, a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ship My Pinball has a sister company called Pinball Depot. I'm gonna get this out right away before we get into the deepness of uh, Ship My Pinball. Um, we do custom rethemes. We have a Jaws Pinball in booth 106, and we have a uh, 35th anniversary Pinball Expo retheme pinball machine that we did for Rob five years ago, the 35th anniversary. So come out and play it. If you want something special done, if you're a Bruins fan or you're a Cleveland Browns, we did a Cleveland Browns for for Rob, he's a Browns fan. Uh, just give us a call and we'll we'll get that done for you as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as I mentioned, we've been doing this 30 years. We founded the real-time quoting site uh, just before and during COVID. Uh, so what it really gives you is an opportunity to, to know how much it's gonna cost you to ship a pinball machine in real time. I don't need to email somebody and wait six hours for them to get me a price to know how much it's gonna cost me to ship something from point A to point B, that's a big value. <coughs> and so, um, yeah, let, let me maybe get to some of the slides. Um, again, we teamed up with uh, Pinball Expo to get the machine that you want at the show home. We pallet the freight and we ship it to your home. What you wanna know and one of the biggest value propositions that we offer that freight companies do not because we have a separate insurance policy with uh, a, an insurance company Right, so we don't want an, a freight company to insure our $20,000 LE pinball machine. That's a no-no, right? They don't pay, uh, and if they do, it's uh, maybe 20% of what the value is, and it's 120 days to get your money, in my experience anyway. So <clears throat> we have a separate insurance policy. Uh, once you submit the claim to us for damages, we submit the claim form to the insurance company, and they get us paid within 15 days. So I had an example of a guy who shipped a machine from Vancouver to the Bronx, and there was, there was a scratch on it. It wasn't terrible, but it's an LE, and it's not worth what it was worth when he bought it because there's just the freight company scratched it. So he decided to, I want a new cabinet from Stern. $1,795 later, the insurance paid out. And that was within a 15-day period. So that's what we want to know, right? As pinball aficionados and as people, as collectors, people are apprehensive about shipping a pinball machine only because they have an emotional tie to it. They don't want it damaged. They put their heart and soul into getting it to the condition that it's in. And the last thing you want to hear is that you've shipped it and the thing got smashed, right? So we do offer proper crating uh, advice. Basically, we hold, we're like a broker, right? When you buy or sell a home, you have your broker that holds your hand through the whole process. We do that for pinball shipping, right? And there's a lot of value to that. We track your shipments from A to B. So maybe I should um, get to the next slide. This is the home page of uh, Pinball Expo. And again, just to reiterate, we're in booth 106 for anybody who wants a pinball shipped from the show that you weren't expecting to purchase, we'll have it shipped to your home at a very competitive rate. We do intra-US, intra-Canada, and cross-border. All right, and I'll get to some of that. So why ship my pinball? Well, we'll get you the quote real time. 
I'm going to ask everybody, I'm, g I'm giving away a shirt at the end here for, for the person that provides me with uh, a quote. Put up your hand when you've done an online real quote. Tell me what you've quoted, what the price is. You have to go to shipmypinball.com. Use your phone. It's mobile friendly. Enter the data. Tell me how you like the flow. We're developing the site constantly every day. Tell us what you'd like it to do. We'll work with you. It's for you. It's not just for me. This is not about making money. This is about contributing something positive to the pinball community uh, that will help us get the machines that we want faster, safer, and um, you know, with uh, somebody who has a vested interest in seeing that your machine makes it to where it needs to go without being damaged. So no need to get a price uh, or wait to get a price because you, you're getting it live online. So you know, I, I use the analogy of Expedia when you're shopping for a... Uh, uh, <laughs> a price for, sh for, for a flight. So eventually we're going to have maybe a dozen companies there. Right now, uh, we and, the, and the nature of this uh, seminar was to talk about the YRC bankruptcy, and I'm going to get to that in just one second. It's important that you know who we are first and what the benefits of what it is that we offer. And, of course, we had an integration with YRC. We spent over a year and a half with their team to integrate uh, their systems. We figured we were okay with a multi-billion dollar company with a, with a terminal in every major state in the US. And unfortunately, uh, union uh, problems uh, and the merging, they bought four companies in the last year and a half and that was their downfall, right? Unions did not get along and um, we'll, we'll get into that in a second, but that was, it's important to know why they went down and, and what's going to happen and how that's going to affect us. And I'll talk about that in just one second. I talked to you about point number two, which is the uh, full insurance coverage. So up to $25,000 US every shipment that you make with uh, Ship My Pinball is covered. So who's shipping your pinball? It's not Ship My Pinball. Obviously, we don't have a private trucking company, we use the carriers, right? We're like the Expedia, if you will, quote unquote, of, of the business, and we'll get you the best price. Right now, online, you're getting one price, and it's from the carrier T-Force Freight. Who is T-Force Freight? They've been around many years, and last year and a half, maybe almost two years now, they bought UPS Freight out. So they're a, an important premier carrier in the industry, and they offer some very, very good rates. And because we've been shipping with T-Force and its, and its partners for over 30 years, we can leverage the discount rates that we have and pass them along to the pinball community. And that's what we're doing through the website. So we also simplify your cross-border uh, shipments. We uh, partnered with Clearit for the last eight years. Clearit is a brokerage house that's been around for 50 years. The Sun just took over the business about seven years ago when I merged them with our company. Uh, they're a third-party company. Uh, they know us well. When they see Ship My Pinball, uh, Pinball Depot is shipping a machine. Uh, they know who we are, and it makes the cross-border shipment seamless. Uh, today, if you hire a broker, you're looking at at least $150 to $195 just to hire the broker to clear the shipment for you. All right. Uh, with uh, Clear It, you're looking at under a $100 fee just to clear the shipment. Of course, if you're bringing it into Canada, there's taxes, GST, which you can claim back if uh, you're a company. You cannot if, if you're not. But uh, we work closely with them. Did, did, hey, guys at Clear It, did you get all the information you needed from our customer in, uh, you know, uh, wherever, Beverly Hills, California? They, yeah, we follow it up like we follow up your shipment from point A to point B. So you have somebody watching out for you and your stuff as it ships. Nobody's going to do that for you, so that's why it's nice to have kind of, you know, three people watching your shipments for you. So we simplify that cross-border process. A lot of people don't like to buy cross-border because they, they don't know how to do it or they've never done it before or they think it's going to be complicated. So we help demystify the whole process of shipping your machine. Um, we keep you informed every step of the way. And again, just to reiterate, some people basically uh, came to me yesterday and said, oh, I thought you only did uh, cross-border shipments that because you have an office in New York and in Montreal. Uh, no, we do intra-US, we do intra-Canada, and we do cross-border. 
We also ship to Mexico and Puerto Rico. So anywhere that T-Force Freight ships, basically, right? And we'll get you the best rate. So here we are, YRC, uh, about six months ago, maybe less. I couldn't believe it. This is like the Walmart of shipping. They have a building in every major city in the U.S. I spent a year and a half and tons of money integrating them into our website, and lo and behold, I get notification that uh, it's going down. So um, the good news is that um, Estes, which is the fourth largest carrier in the U.S., um, made a bid of, what is it, $1.525 billion dollars. Uh, for all of their real estate, uh, and they won the bid, and um, we're in connection with them, and we're looking to leverage their purchase and uh, reintegrate into our website. But uh, yeah, it was it was terrible for everybody. As I was uh, speaking to um, you know just uh, a moment ago about how the unions just couldn't get along on how to get the the rules right within the four companies they just purchased and that was their downfall right one company said we're not doing that and so on and so forth and we have to be cognizant as well of shipping companies it's it's not an easy gig guys when the guy doesn't show up and you know you're calling me to like schedule a pickup and he doesn't come to the door at the time he's supposed to or he has to reschedule the next day because the guy's completely overloaded and he just can't make it to your home, it's not ship my finball's fault, right? And the other important thing you want to know when you're scheduling a pickup, it's a request to come at that time. It doesn't mean they're going to come. They come 80% of the time. But 20% of the time, it, there is the odd chance that they're, they're, they're not going to make it. And people stay home all afternoon, you know? So I try to, you know, uh, you know, keep you posted. I call the terminals. Hey, guys, is the driver on the way? Is he going to make it today? This is all really big, valuable stuff for a guy who's running a business who doesn't have time to wait four hours for a truck to arrive to pick up his pinball. And then he doesn't show up. Can you imagine the call I'm getting the next at 6 o'clock when the guy says he's not coming and the guy had to wait four hours? So be cognizant that, these guys are working hard every day, and they're doing their best, and sometimes they just don't make the pickups. And, um, yeah, we work with them closely to try to make sure that that pickup happens, so we give you that added value of, of calling you and letting you know where the driver is. Drivers don't call anymore, by the way. Call, have them call me half an hour before. I'm not at that building. It's in a warehouse somewhere. i got to drive there and meet them. No. Post-COVID, nobody calls. T-Force Freight does send out an email notification when I register the pickup. They're starting to do that now, which helps, but that's usually only 20 minutes before, 15 minutes if we're lucky. So we can't count on that. I have had some guys leave the pallets on their driveways with the paperwork. You know, and if you're not in a neighborhood where you have to worry about that leaving, you know, the wrong way, then that's fine. That works for some people. So all these little tips that help make this whole process easier is what we guide you through because we've been doing it for some time and we can say, hey, no, you don't know you need a commercial invoice. Well, how do I do that? Well, here's a template. Here's how you can make your commercial invoice. You want us to help you make it? We'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll show you or we'll, guide, we'll get on the phone with you and we'll guide you how to make that invoice. It's a family approach to <coughs> simplify the whole process. Another valid added value. So why the bankruptcy affects us? Uh, like I said just a moment ago, it, it was, there was a terminal in every major city in the U.S. There wasn't a place I couldn't ship to. They were there everywhere. So now we have 10 times more freight that has to be shipped. We already had 10 times more freight when there was COVID, right? COVID doubled the, the, the size of the freight that we had to do. So now we have 10 times more freight because all the freight that was in their terminals has to be moved. Who's going to move it all? And then you need special requests to go and get it from those terminals because they're under bankruptcy. So it's it – <coughs> and then there's a shortage of drivers. And even post-COVID, there was a shortage of drivers. 
it's not an easy gig. It's not a, a job that, you know, it's not, you don't go to university th saying, I want to graduate being a truck driver. Some people, that's their passion, and they do it, and they love it. But, you know, unfortunately, it's not, so, it's not, a, it's not a, a, a job that everybody wants to do, and there's a shortage of drivers right now. So we have to be aware of that. And um, we need to know what's going on in the transportation industry because that drives up the price of, of what it is we need to ship. I always like to use the analogy of when you come to a four-way stop sign. You need to know where the other guy is going before you move to get to where you want to go. So it's the same thing with the transport industry. What is happening in the industry? There is shortage of drivers. People are overworked. Uh, you know, and, and, and um, we need to be cognizant of what is going on in order to better serve our needs. So we need to recognize, yeah, for maybe the next three months, the prices still might be a little bit higher because the Walmart of the business just went bankrupt and all of the other freight companies are charging that 25% more than they normally charge. Hey, Dino, your prices are a little bit higher than so. Well, look at what's going on in the business. The other way we keep your price down, and a lot of people don't know this, I'm repeating myself, I've talked about it in other se in the seminars that we've done here. <coughs> we use dimensional freight quotes. So when you come to shipmypinball.com and you do a quote, we ask you for all the information. A lot of people don't like to take the time to do that, right? If you, you know, put garbage in, you get garbage out. So take the time, put in all of the details. What I'm trying to say is dimensional freight quote is cheaper than a, a, a quote that's being shipped by class. So there's a myriad of ways you can ship a shipment. You can ship it by class and not have to worry about what the dimensions of the pallet is. But that's 25% more expensive than shipping it by dimensional freight quote. Why? Because the fuel surcharge is added on after, where, whereby dimensional freight quotes, the fuel surcharge is is encapsulated. So what you're telling the dimensional freight core, what you're saying is this, Mr. Freight Company, this is the exact size of my pallet. This is the exact dimensions. This is how much space I'm going to take up on your truck. And I guarantee that you're not going to, I'm not going to take up more than one inch of what I've just given to you. And they say, for giving me that information, what we're going to guarantee you is a lower price by 25% because we know exactly what the dimensions are going to be in our truck. We know how much space we have left to put other s other freight in there. So that's how we can get a better rate because we're shipping. Now, in order to get that rate, you guys got to do your homework. Don't tell me it's a 31 by 31 by uh, uh, stern pallet when it and, and then when it I look at the picture, it's a 40 by 40 because then we're going to get dinged for $100 for an inspection because it wasn't the size we said it was. Then it's going to be uh, uh, another additional $68 because it's 8 inches larger than it was, or even 3 and 1 inch will charge you 150 more. 1 inch more. Uh, so we have to find ways to keep the cost down. I help and guide you through that process. But you need to you know, respect the, the dimensions because then we're all going to get dinged on more money. So that's how we can get help you get better prices, but we need to respect what the exact dimensions. So if you're shipping on a stern pallet and it's a new game, it's easy. It's 31 by 31 by 60, and it's a, it's a 250 plus the weight of the carb or the weight of the straps and whatever, and I'll add another 20. So 275 pounds, 300 pounds, you're okay. You have no problem. You're getting a very competitive rate. You can ship East Coast to West Coast for under 400 bucks, which is still remarkable. And I got to say, where are these freight companies making money? No wonder some of them are going belly up. There's not a lot of money being made. So, you know, when they charge you an extra $135 because there's a res they have to hire a third-party trucker with a smaller truck to go into a residential area, Right, and then they have to have a lift gate. That's another seventy-five, eighty-five dollars. So we're looking at one hundred and forty-five dollars, one hundred and thirty-five, one hundred and twenty-five. California is always more expensive. They have all kinds of additional taxes and stuff, depending where you are. And then you know, you want us to keep those rates down. You you got to tell us: Are you in a residential area? Is it limited access? Is there a gate to get in? 
to your residence because that's called limited access and that's 50 bucks more. <laughs> so there's a lot of work that has to be done. It's like buying or selling a house. Each deal is different. You got to know all of the details. And we try to we try to take all the burden of all that information off your hands. If you want to know how much it's going to cost you, just a ballpark figure, go to the website. That's why we built it. You'll get a ballpark figure, what it's going to cost you. Call us, email us. Uh, right now, we're not allowing you to check out and print your bill of lading, only because people have been um, abusing the, the site by putting smaller sizes. And, and then we, we're, we didn't want to, like a rental car, I don't want to take $500 deposit on your shipment and then you pay your shipment and then wait to see if this, the so I didn't want to have to do that because that, I find that complicates the whole process. I'm here to simplify the process. So get your quote online and send us an email and uh, we'll finalize the quote for you right now until we find a way to uh, limit the damage for some shipments that we're getting dinged on that weren't, uh, you know, proper uh, di dimensions and so on and so forth. If you guys think it's a good idea to take a, a deposit, uh, and you, you don't see any problem with it, it's like a rental car or your hotel here, they'll take an incidental uh, deposit of uh, $500 or $300 or whatever it is they take, and you don't see a problem with that, let me know. I'd like some feedback. I don't, I, I don't want to have to do that, you know. So that's, that's an important point. Um, <coughs> so in the long run, we'll, we should be able to see prices level off now that Estes is purchased and they're going to come in and buy all the property. Uh, they're going to stay stateside. And the Reiner family owns the Canadian side of the YRC buildings, the real estates. And then we'll see what's happening. Uh, and we'll pass on that information and try to integrate it into our site. Uh, so, yeah, T-Force Freight is our premier carrier right now. And uh, hopefully we'll drive down the, the prices. Um, and they bought out UPS Freight, as I mentioned before, about almost uh, two years ago. Um, T-Force is a premier carrier, easy to use. It's a working development, like I said just moments ago. Uh, we talked about our sister company doing rethemes. Give us a shout for that. Come and see us in booth 106 if you want to play a retheme game. We've got two. Um, and uh, maybe uh, ask us for your quote. Uh, you have to pallet your own freight. That's the caveat. It's an important point to mention. Um, we're working with uh, movinghelp.com where on the website you can maybe click a button that's going to say, come and pallet the freight for me, like you do with U-Haul. When you say, I'm moving, I need two, three hours of a mover. So click this button, and it's $68 an hour for the movers, and they'll come and help you pallet the freight. So that's another great way to avoid having to do the work yourself, because a lot of people are saying, you know, well, we don't want to pallet the freight you know, or we don't know how, or we have, you know, we're going to post tons of how-to videos on the site. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it. Everything is hard when you don't know how to do it, but once you know how to do it and you gain a little bit of confidence, then, you know. So um, any other questions? Did anybody go to the website and get a quote so I can give away this T-shirt? I just need to see. Uh, you've got it? Yeah. Well, uh, and did you get a quote? And what was it? Oh, that's a great price. Go and get your shirt. Any other questions, anybody, before we go? Yes, sir. Thank you. Can you repeat that, please? I did. Uh, no, they they owned up to the three pallets that I had, and it was uh, there was a process involved in doing it because you know it's not they're not going to let any company go in there and get and get the freight because it's, it's it's under receivership or whatever it was. But uh, uh, they they did what they had. They did the right thing. They made it possible for us to get the freight. Yes. It took, uh, you know, a couple of weeks and some effort, but yeah. Anybody else before we go? Yes. 
Yes? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. I We take pictures and, and you know, and I, I get emails of the customer telling me, hey, look, this is when I unwrapped it. It was all damaged inside. I couldn't see it when the guy delivered it. So the answer is yes. Yes, thank you so much, everybody. ShipMyPinball.com.